A Little Bit About Dissociation and Dissociative Disorders by Dr. Michelle Stevens. Dissociation is a term used to describe something that we all experience many times a day. It's the act of zoning out, as when we daydream or get lost in thought while driving. In its simplest form, dissociation is the way we all take mental vacations. Dissociation is also a natural way that human beings cope with fear. When we become scared or shocked, as happens during an accident or assault, our minds often use dissociation to detach and escape from overwhelming feelings. While dissociation is a natural coping mechanism, if used too frequently, it can become habitual and lead to a dissociative disorder. The dissociative disorders include depersonalization disorder, which is characterized by periods of detachment from oneself or surroundings, dissociative amnesia, which is the forgetting of a traumatic or stressful event, dissociative fugue, which is a temporary amnesia for one's own identity, wherein the person usually travels away from their normal surroundings and sometimes takes on a new identity, dissociative identity disorder, which is the alteration of two or more distinct personalities within the same individual. While normal dissociation happens to everyone many times a day, problematic dissociation is more rare. About 10% of the general population suffers from a dissociative disorder. The most common dissociative disorder is dissociative amnesia. The least common is dissociative identity disorder. Since different dissociative disorders have different root causes and symptoms, they're treated differently. A dissociative fugue, for instance, is usually brought on by a current life stressor. The best treatment is psychotherapy to cope with stress, as well as medication to lessen anxiety. Depersonalization disorder and dissociative identity disorder are both linked to long-standing habits of using dissociation to deal with stress. In order to conquer these disorders, sufferers will need to learn how to stay present during times of stress. They may also need long-term psychotherapy to process the early trauma that first caused them to dissociate, as well as medication to lessen anxiety and depression. Dissociative amnesia can be linked to stress in the present or the past. Sometimes it goes away on its own. Other times, it requires psychotherapy to help process the troubling memories that had previously been repressed. With proper treatment, all of the dissociative disorders can be overcome, helping sufferers go on to lead satisfying and fulfilling lives.